Okay, Plopper, I'm going to the little pig's room. Can you cover for me? Good, good, not that many mistakes at all. Okay, is that Homer or a pig that looks just like him? Sounds like Homer, but it smells like truffles. Toss in a bag of chips. Yep, that's Homer. Who's Homer? The pig behind the desk. To a less secure man, being mistaken for a pig would be a wake-up call. This is great. All I had to do was say I'm crazy on my permanent record, and I get to bring a pig to work. Yeah, they are pretty lax here. That's right. I got turned out by McDonald's, but here they paid me the whole year I was in jail. You said you were getting rid of him. Marge, I'll take him to work and to most. He'll be like me. You'll barely see him. <sighs> Fine. This is so hard for me to say, but my saxophone no longer gives me joy. I am giving it away. Oh, that is really, really sad. Wow, you understand how I feel. Yes, because I feel about my pig the way you used to feel about your honkama flute. Okay, back to what really matters. So, I get the ball and I pivot to first. Uh, oh, oh. oh, oh my god! Oh, uh, I'm so sorry, Dad. Accidents happen. Wow, homie. Spill gravy is one of your top three strangulation triggers. I could never strangle a boy in front of the pig. Huh, I think he really has become a support animal for you. He's totally changed the way I look at animals. Pass the pork chops. <laughs> Everybody's looking at us. It's like bringing Elizabeth Taylor to the Oscars. Can I pet your pig? Of course, you can all pet him. Kiss both ends. Only those kids' hands are covered in barbecue sauce. I know someone who's going to get a sink bath tonight. Confused his baby back ribs. Of course, there is the luau option. I will not subject him to something that has three vowels in a row. Uh, sir, I'm kind of worried about a lawsuit. Our Lloyds of London policy excludes the hounds. Oh, damn that Lloyd. He's worn a grudge ever since I took his girl to see Lunardi's balloon. What are you talking about?